pull up on you? Say on God. Can we can we pull up on you? Oh, it's too much black. Say, say on God. <laughs> oh God. If you look throughout history, whenever a man loses a kingdom or his empire and legacy, it's almost always because of a woman whether they got manipulated by one or they got backstabbed or simply not being able to control their sexual urges kind of like that samson and delilah story in the bible now if we fast forward to modern time the same thing are still happening guys are putting wealth careers and empires they built from the ground up for a 10 to 15 minute gratification with a woman and every time i see a high caliber man finding himself in these type of situation where they can lose everything I always ask myself, is pussy really worth it? Is it worth losing everything you work for? Warning, Dave's content is not for the weak. Viewer discretion is advised. Today we're gonna be talking about Kai Sinat and how he's currently being exposed by a woman. Now, I watched this video already and the first time I watched it, I realized something. It was Kai Sinat fault. He did not see the signs that this woman was going to play him. Maybe it's an age thing, maybe he doesn't have the awareness where he's able to tell that this woman only wants him for his money because she clearly showed it in the video and i'm gonna show you the exact moment that this woman wasn't shit so before i get into it let me show you how it started so kai Sinai, he was streaming as he usually do and sometimes when kai Sinat stream he would bring on guests and they'll just talk virtually so this woman came on kai Sinat stream and immediately she tried coming over and that was the first red flag i'm gonna pull up on you Say on God. Can we, can we pull up on you? Oh, it's too much black. Say, say on God. <laughs> oh God. Number one, you don't know Kai Sinai and you're asking to come over. And second, you're advertising yourself and twerking for him and his audience and hopes for him to want to sleep with you for clout or fame or whatever you think you're gonna get. So clearly this girl is a fucking whore. There's not another way to label her. I'm just being honest with you. And I'm gonna just say this, for those who don't live in Atlanta, Atlanta is known for two things, chicken wings and HIV. There was a report that came out like a week ago. They were saying the HIV rate doubled since 2021. Metro Atlanta is the third highest ranking for HIV diagnosis in the country. So this is according to data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. I live in Atlanta and I know that. Kai live in Atlanta. He must know that. So when I see a girl being this easy and this fast, only one thing comes to mind. You got that shit on you. You have HIV. Why else would you be this easy? Why else would you be this careless? But anyways, so this girl ended up coming over. Her and Kai Sinat had sex. And then she went about her day. And sometimes after that, she started posting pictures of her and Kai Sinat sleeping together. And Kai Sinat is clearly naked in these pictures, indicating that, yo, I just had sex with him. So when Kai Sinat fan sees it, they're asking, yo, why are you posting him? And this is what she had to say. If I just would have got my money, I would have shut up. If I would have just gotten my money, I would have shut up. Indicating that Kai Sinat paid her for sex and she went on and started to post the $5,000 that Kai Sinat allegedly sent her. At first, I'm like, Kai Sinat is paying for pussy? I didn't want to make a video on it yet. I wanted to wait for Kai Sinat response and he finally did. And here's what he had to say. First things first, and I know I'm not supposed to be doing this because this is attention towards her, but she has to be gone. I swear to God, I don't like when people try to play with me when I built up something from the ground up. Yeah, you built something from the ground up, but the fact that it was so easy to get to you, all she had to do was twerk a little ass and she ended up on your bed. That's all it took. To me, I feel like you don't value what you've built, bro. Like, I get it. You can have fun, but it shouldn't be this easy to get your attention. First things first. You guys may have seen this text. Okai sent $5,000 on October 4th at 12, 29 p.m. on a Wednesday. <laughs> okay, you guys seen that, right? Okay. Oh, wait, there's another one. Wait, Kai, hold on. You also sent 5,000 on November 10th of, at, at 12.34 a.m. Okay, following me. Y'all following me? Watch this chat. Okay, cool, right? You want to go ahead and lie and say, I sent you this money. Now, I could have easily ran in my pet messages and just easily just showed it. It just wasn't there. First things first, this is my phone. Here we go. 
Here we go. Screen record, as you guys can see. Thank you, Apple, for the wallet. Let's go to um transactions of 2023. Um, let's go to hmm. Let me see October for me, please. Okay, as you can see, these are my good friends. Um, there's a Escalade in there that my my dudes get two thousand whenever whenever she wants. She get whatever she want. Okay, nothing there. She saved as Layla Red in my phone. On God, you're saved as Layla Red in my phone. Kiara Rush, I'm on you now. Kiara Rush, we don't we call you Kr now. All right, go to November. Stop. Stop. Flyer artist. Flyer artist. Hairstylist. Facial lady. Flyer artist. Lay the fucking red. Fifty dollars for your dumb ass Uber. So it turns out Kai Sinat did not pay her $5,000 for him to smash. He paid for her Uber, which was 50 bucks. Now, why did she lie? Your guess is as good as mine. For some reason, some women have this fantasy of tearing down everything a man worked for by lying or manipulating the public. Why else would you lie about something like that? Is it for clout? Is it for money? Is it for the attention? Why would you lie about something like that? What am I, mother? Let me tell you niggas something, bro. Stop speaking on me, bro. Hold on, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I'm gonna crash up for $50. You got in the Uber and came here. Now I'm out of crash. I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't give a fuck. Ma, if you see this, I apologize, ma. I had to, bro. I had to. $50 to hop in the Uber. Bet. Cool. Kai. Okay. Wow. Okay. You have now proved that you only, the only receipt there is, is you $50. So wait, hold on. Hold on, Kiara Rush. So not only did you lie, but you Photoshop and these dumb niggas really ran with it? Really? Last year of January 2023, my mans was lied on. Okay? Lied. Okay? Lied for an incident that has no jokes to be with and I should have. I, I, I spared you. I spared you. So if you guys don't know, last year, um, Kai Sinat friend got accused for R-wording a girl at a party. I even made a video about it. Some time went by and what do you know? This bitch ended up lying. Shocker. The police threw out that case, but Kai Sinat never brought it up again because he wanted to spare the woman's image. Now, me personally, I would have sued this girl for everything she got for lying and trying to ruin my reputation. But for whatever reason, Kai Sinat wanted to spare her face. I speared you. I let you drag my name. There was a scenario in January of 2023 that was very serious and millions of people seen it. And I was on the verge of stop doing what I'm doing just because of a that want to lie. It never got to court because it was a lie. And I kept my mouth shut because you feel me? But, 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 but I really should have got you too. But congrats to Kiara Rush. You are now the example. Do you not think after what happened in January, right? Do you not think I am now 10 steps ahead of everything that I do? Do you not think I know that I'm one of the biggest streamers to walk this earth and I'm not 10 steps ahead? I'm sorry because I'm I'm so humble, but I don't want I don't want to snap, bro. But I'm not ten steps ahead of everything people do, and say I'm ten steps ahead of you, okay? First things to first, shorty. Do you know what the NDA is, okay? Which you signed, Kiara Rush. You signed that, Kiara Rush. You did, you did, and it protects me from everything that we've ever talked about or ever ever talked about. It's cool though. So it turns out before they had sex, Kai Sinat made him sign the NDA. Good on his end, but what if she had AIDS? Like you. <laughs> Like, I feel like he's missing the point. Cause you, you, you let shit out, right? Wait, and lie, by the way, you're a liar. Liar, liar, you're a liar. You're a liar. Next, next. Oh no, wait, hold on, Kiara. What did you post to me, Kiara? Not only did you sign an NDA, but you also, while I was sleeping, butt ass naked, decided to just post me online. Okay, now what do you call that, ladies and gentlemen? Revenge porn. Now those who don't know what revenge porn. Okay, she didn't. She didn't. She didn't. She she blocked this out and shit. Okay, for those who don't know what revenge porn is, I made it my duty to never ever be lied on again in my career. I may be dumb when I'm on the stream and shit, but I'm not a dumb for real. You must have not remembered as you were talking to me in our last encounter. I don't know if you noticed, with voice 4K audio of you threatening me to post images for money. <laughs> oh, oh, you didn't think I was 10 steps ahead. 
Oh, when, when my phone was like this on my lap. Oh, when my, when my phone was like this on my lap. Oh, you, oh, you didn't think I, 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 I recorded, right? Here we go. Me Not black man. For a photo. For money. money. And you took a picture of me without my consent. Naked. So? Revenge so? porn. I ain't posted. That's revenge porn. You, but you're threatening it. You're threatening to. You're threatening to, though. But you're threatening to, though. Yeah, because you're trying to resolve it. I know, but it's still a crime. Okay, it's still a crime. I'm not messed up, though. That's all. That's all I'm saying. I'm not messed up. It's still a crime, though. I don't hold it. I'm sure the thousands of people are sending to the I know, but you'll get in trouble, though. How? It's coming from you. You're the source. You've added text messages. You've admitted. So Kai Sinat ended up getting an audio of her admitting that she did post those pictures and you're not able to do that if you sign an NDA. And because Kai Sinat was, I guess, a little naked, that's considered revenge porn. Kai concluded the live stream by saying he's going to sue her for everything she got, whether she got $25 or $15. He's taking everything and making an example out of her, which is all good, but I will never understand the psychology of men when it comes to not seeing women intentions from the start. Like if you just step back and not think with your penis, you can clearly see women intentions. She started off by twerking for you in front of 50,000 live people and then publicly ask you to come over. And when she ended up exposing you for not paying her, you're like, oh, she lied on me. No shit. What you thought was going to happen? You thought she was going to help you with taxes? You thought she was just going to fucking go? No, you're an extremely successful streamer. You're fresh bait and all these bitches are hungry lions. Why don't you know that, Kai? I started this video by asking you guys, is pussy worth losing everything you work for? Is it worth losing your legacy, your name, your branding? Is it worth it? And the answer is, it's never worth it. It's never worth it. I don't give a fuck if Beyonce came here and spread her legs open. If it means I'm gonna lose everything I work for, I will beat my dick until I get a handprint around it. Pussy is not worth that much. So to all my entrepreneurs and guys that's constantly building their legacy right now, all I got to say is be careful because you don't want to lose everything you work for over some fucking pussy. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. I'm out. If you like that video, I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. So like, share, and subscribe and get me there. Thank you.